Hey guys, Wade here. You're watching DHN. Now, in this video, we are going to be uncovering Warren Buffett's bluffing self, okay? <laughs> now, the reason why I said that is because Warren Buffett, we know, he don't like Bitcoin. As a matter of fact, he said that he'll never buy one. But he sure did put all of his stock into this new Brazilian new bank that he has established. Warren Buffett backed new bank finally launches Bitcoin operations for 54 million customers. Again, guys, there's a lot to this story. OK, there's a whole lot to this story. On one side, you have uh, Mr. Buffett. This is his bank. It is his bank by shareholder value. As a matter of fact, early in 2021, he dumped all of his shares. He dumped a large portion of his shares to put them in Nubank. And once he made that decision, I started to follow him right into Nubank myself. And then I started to learn about Nubank and its position, its history, where it's from, who's there, what they're doing. You know, Nubank is the equivalent of it'd be SoFi here in the United States or even a what's another large digital bank chime cash app even it's that equivalent over there in brazil and then another aspect to this entire situation is the fact that brazil itself is one of the leading nations when it comes to digital currency adoption digital assets central bank digital currency so forth and so on so the reason why i have so much attention on new bank and brazil is for this very reason guys we are getting an example of what the future economy is going to look like now let's dive into this information one of the world's largest online banks brazilian new bank has launched the ability to make transactions with cryptocurrencies for its users the user base of new bank sitting at about 54 million individuals more than 1 million companies also will be using this service so again the irony here is hilarious. Warren Buffett will not, he'll never publicly state that he likes Bitcoin or crypto. However, his number one company loves it. <laughs> so what you, you tell me guys, but the bank decided to start its new vector of deployment with the launch of the two most popular cryptocurrencies, Bitcoin and Ethereum. In order to buy coins, the bank's users just need to enter the new bank app and make a simple transaction having paid the purchase amount and a small commission of 0.02 percent so 0.02 percent goes to new bank now i'm i'm assuming that they're using that 0.02 percent to cover transaction fees but new bank explained its choice to offer only bitcoin and ethereum trading to its customers by saying that both of these coins together make up 60 percent of the entire crypto market limiting the offer to these time-tested cryptocurrencies will provide a safer entry point into the uh, into the market uh for new investors in addition to being one of the largest online banks in the world in terms of users new bank is also the most expensive digital bank gaining that status from its ipo in early 2021 that Mr. Buffett uh, surely made them uh, help them reach this evaluation of forty five billion dollars. The largest funds in the world participate in the capital of the bank. And moreover, the guru of stock market himself, Mr. Buffett, has a weighty share of ownership in it. New Bank's strong foundation makes it a very solid recruit in the ranks of financial institutions and companies adopting cryptocurrencies. Brazil itself seems to have moved to a softer stance on cryptocurrencies as well. On June 15th, a bill was introduced to recognize cryptocurrencies as a means of payment. At the same time, many companies are already accepting crypto for payment. Soccer clubs such as San Paulo are even conducting initial public offerings of their own tokens. So fan tokens, okay, fan tokens. That's going to be another big industry. Something I don't see popping off maybe the rest of this year. But when we get into next year's sports season, it's the bear market where all of these things are built, where all of these things are developed, guys. So we won't see these sports partnerships, these branding deals and marketing moves. We'll see them in 2023's sports season. All right. So foundation layer. First, you lay the foundation. Then you build on that foundation. And what you build on that foundation is what you share with the rest of the neighborhood all right that's what we're seeing in the crypto space so with all that being said though guys if you want more 
engaging crypto content, we have just activated a membership section. In that, Digit Hustle Diamond Hustle members will have access to exclusive crypto content, crypto documentaries, information I guarantee you won't find anywhere else on YouTube. And you can get it all for $2.99 a month. Can't beat that, guys. Can't beat that. We already have a piece of content available for members, guys. Finance is closer to Russia than you think. I promise you. But while you're doing that, guys, of course, you know what I'm going to tell you. Enjoy this next video that YouTube is going to recommend for you. And have a great day. Have a prosperous day. But most importantly, if that money is digital, so is the hustle. I'll see y'all in the next one.